Hello, dear people. I hereby want to thank these good people for having organized this Free Sean Ross political prisoner protest in London on November the 4th, 2015, while I was being held in a Swiss high security prison in an isolation block tortured through oxygen deprivation for making YouTube videos and why I lost 35 kilos in three months. Thank you, Stuart Frampton. Thanks, bro. I think it made a difference, as the Swiss like to keep a low profile while doing their invisible crimes, like invisible viruses, which would be exactly their thing to do. So, soon after the Free Sean Ross political prisoner protest in London in front of the Swiss Embassy at Montague Place in London, we paid the 20,000 Swiss francs ransom and I left the damn country for good. This is the way to do it, people. Fight together or get hanged separately. I'd also like to thank these people from this website here who most likely, due to the Swiss dictatorship, have to hide their identities. Thank you. I understand. And I can tell you, you're right about that. Because during that massive house search on December the 21st, 2015, I was massively questioned concerning this website by several very hateful Swiss Nazi cops at their police clubhouse interrogation center. Thank you, good people. And there is much more. I saw there are hundreds of pages popping out in Google search when inserting my name. Thanks for that. So here on the second last arrest on July the 16th, 2015, there were many cops who all wanted to see it. While well, my three-year-old daughter Alvina was crying her heart out and they didn't let me comf comfort her, hoping I would resist or go swear at them while putting on handcuffs and chains on my feet. These are the type of things the Swiss people enjoy doing most and they have a long tradition doing so. My younger son Riwan was there too at the arrest. 12 years old at the time and he started smoking hashish because of this trauma base inflicted on very young children by the Swiss Nazi police and the Freemason judiciary. I will not forgive what you did, Swissy. It's enormous, the enormous amount of Swiss hatred I had to endure in their Swiss Nazi prisons and by everyone around that, by the Swiss judiciary, Swiss Nazi cops, Swiss neighbors, corrupt psychiatrists telling lies to get big money by the state. The Swiss are absolutely the evilest people I've seen in my entire life. And at the same time, Swiss neo-Nazis beat up, spit, swear and shout at the Jaywalker community in Zurich as Kevin G here in 2015 and don't do a single day in prison and I sought myself how Swiss neo-Nazis in prison get treated as heroes by the guards who have Nazi tattoos themselves. I remember the Swiss neo-Nazis in the Bergdorf prison with a big tattoo saying six millions are not enough who had a very large prison sentence for doing bomb attacks on refugee centers. I'm sorry, my jaywalker friends, for if I use your real name, the machine will recognize that and remove my film due to the YouTube censorship. So concerning the laws of probability and the Swiss octagon behind every world war, behind every economic crisis through their Templar banks, and behind every terrorist attack financed by the Swiss Al Taqwa Bank and organized by Abu Musab Al Suisri. The probability calculations outcome gives us 
that the Swiss Nazi Templars and their highly criminal Novartis pharmaceutical giant are behind the global Corona outbreak. And this ship here called the Swiss Corona is called the Corona because Switzerland, the first new world order in the world in 1291, is the crown for these Freemasons and Pharaohs or the Corona, Latin for the crown. That's why they call the ship the Swiss Corona. And they all understand this. And this is also why they called it the, uh, the Corona virus. Corona is another name for Switzerland, where the Knights Templars were saved and where they made a new crown, the horizontal rule crown, instead of the vertical rule crown. So Switzerland is the crown of their work, it's the crown of revolutions, it's the crown of world wars, it's the crown of crusades. They crowned their rule by through Switzerland. So this boat is full of Freemasons, you know, who love these titles, you know, on their ship, the Swiss Corona, for the elite. You know, like retired persons, and they all know it, people. They all know it. I mean, who else get it? You know, how do they get a name like Swiss Corona from, eh? Well, coronavirus, I mean, if there's any coronavirus at all. You just don't know with these government liars and their media liars anymore. But this is real. The Swiss ship, the Swiss Corona. And Switzerland being the corona or the crown of their work. The, uh, the hideout, le refuge pour les Templiers, le solvey refuge. But if there is the corona virus, as they say, then it has been planted. So, here's the Swiss Corona YouTube channel for the elite. So they can have their crown tour for the retired elites amongst themselves and talk about their Freemason activities during their lives. So, where's the connection between Swiss and Corona? As uh, Swiss never had any crowns and kings. As they've been a democracy for the elite only since 1291. And even before, it has always been the base of Pharaoh, or the crown of Pharaoh the crown or capstone of the hierarchy pyramid and their capstone on top of the Alps. This is where the coronavirus comes from, folks. I have no doubt. And look here on the Swiss corona, you all see the octagon. They know it. They know it. They know it. And this ship tour for the elite is too expensive for us. So, they're just amongst themselves and having a jolly good time, don't they now, eh? Under the octagon. On March 10th, 2020, in the canton of Thurgau in Switzerland, suddenly 120 starlings fell dead from the sky. With internal lung bleedings, after some sort of test, probably 5G, high frequencies related to Corona. Here it says in that same article, it says Lungenblutung, you see lungs, it's the same word, lungs bleeding. Here, here again, and the authorities, of course, they, they say, they always say, oh, we don't know what happened, you know. Same thing when the 5G killed all the, uh, the, all the dolphins. I made that video about it. I just looked it up. There was a naval exercise and they used 5G to um, contact the chopper because the normal radio signals, they don't pass the water. And with 5G, oh, lovely, they can chat with the president, you know, from out under the water. Isn't that lovely, eh? But it exploded the heads of all the dolphins. All the pictures I saw, they were, um, they were bleeding out of their eyes. Their, their brains completely exploded. Thousands of them, tens of thousands especially on the French coast. There was last year and the year before. And um, they lie, you know, they're a bunch of liars, people. 
or maybe the 120 starling birds flew through the haze of a corona cloud, breathing the corona trails in deeply, until their lungs went bloody, finally doing the good old Stuka dive bomber and smacking the soil. Or maybe a combination of both 5G and Corona Haze by the sneaky bastards who rule us. And I've explained to you how Corona is related to Hathor, the goddess and mistress of the sky, and 120 dead birds falling down from the sky, and 5G going through the sky. She's also the goddess of the unborn baby. And Hathor, it means House of Horus. You can read it here, House of Horus, yeah. As in the big dying and the Horus matrix. Also referred to as the seven Hathors, as the seven Swiss heads of states. It says it's the goddess, the seven Hathors, a representation of Hathor by the seven Hathors. And many times Hathor is being represented by seven cows, like in amulets and all that here, a set of seven cows, like the Swiss having seven presidents. As here in Switzerland, in the canton of Uri, where the Knights Templars on August the 1st, on a meadow called the Rudli, here you can see this, Rudli, in that cow canton of Hathor, founded Octagon of the Alps, leading to the destruction of Europe. Here you can see this, Uri, that's the word the sun in it, Ri, the three cantons, Uri, Schwitz, and Unterwalden. Here you can see their oldest seals from Uri, from the 13th century in 1249, 40 years before the founding of Switzerland by the Knights Templars in 1291, in the canton of Uri. Therefore, the unmistakable Templars cross, indicating they were already there in 1249, and still in the middle of the Crusades. So here you've got a closer look of the um, of the Templars cross here from 1249, or actually it's from 1258. And so, you know, indicating there is this relation. There's It's in the name, Ri, as in Uri, the sun. There is Apis, the bull, or Hathor, uh, in the, um, the logo of, uh, in the crest of uh, Uri. So that's, that's what I've been telling you. There's a relation, you know, there's a connection between the Knights Templars and the Pharaohs and the Freemasons and the aristocracy. So the Pharaohs became the aristocracy who became the Knights Templars splitting up and who became the Freemasons. And this is what we've got today. And this is their, their base, Switzerland, the mother, the mother cow. Hey, Hathor. And here you see some more very old seals. This one is from 1353. Typical Templars cross. Here one more from 1489 when they were nicely installed in Switzerland. But of course, when they're hiding, Freemasons hide, they more and more they went over into the Hospitallers, the Teutonic Knights going to the Baltic. And of course the Freemasons, so they went more and more into hiding and the typical Templars cross uh, disappearing and becoming a Swiss cross, but still using the same old red and white colors. So this is real stuff, eh? this is very old stuff from that era. You see, there are even depictions around of the Hathor cow of Uri, full of Swiss crosses on it. Just like the boat, the Swiss Corona, there are people who know, but they won't tell us. So do you ever see a cow, you know, with horns like that, that the sun will perfectly fit in there, and with a big round nose ring like this here, it looks like the on-off sign, yeah. 
Well, let me tell you, this thing here is coming from here. It used to be here, the red sun. Why is it red? You know, it should be black or metal and not, and not that big. Eh? This is Hathor, people. They just put it down from their, you know, divine symbol, the sun here, because Hathor, she's the daughter of Amun-Ra. That's why it's here. But they put it down, you know, because they're pulling us by the nose. We are their slaves. That's why they put it down here. But they all know it belongs here. Hey, Swiss, hey. This is, they are pharaohs. Uri. Knights Templars. Corona. They did it. Remember what I told you at the beginning of our voyage here in my film, The Pharaoh Show, about the sisters of Isis, Su Is, Sœur d'Isis, where the name Switzerland is from, Schwitz, Schwester de Isis. And this is a depiction, original pharaonic depiction of Hathor. They are the sisters of Isis, and it's the Horus Matrix killing the man. And there are many women around, especially in the West, who adore this stuff. And they made the alliance. This is the story of Adam and Eve. There are many Eves in the West who make this alliance to kill the man, to dominate them. You know, like ten uniforms against one man. You know, the internet is full of it. This is Hathor. This is Uri, where the Knights Templars landed in Switzerland. See, the internet is full of it. You see the Hathor Kao, Cleopatra, and, you know, the Sisters of Isis from Switzerland. Uri. There, people, that the pharaohs are there in the Alps. They've got their little base there. Uri, of the Knights Templars in the Alps, where the conquest of Europe started. And I tell you one more time, this on-off thing here, it comes from there. The destruction of Europe also through the Knights Templars alliance with the Arabic Caliphate. And now we have the coronavirus. Only Octogon is capable of creating and spreading the corona. Like Saladin or Salahidin being a New World Order Knights Templar needing the worldwide horizontal rule of Eurabia through order out of chaos. Ordo ab cao. Cao, corona, ordo, new world order. And like bringing the plague back to Europe out of the Middle East by the same guys, and right after the end of the Crusades in 1291. And the Black Death really kicking in in 1347, killing one third of all Europeans in, of those days. Or do you think some bats flew it over, or maybe it's fleas? I'll tell you who the Batmen are in this case. They're from Basel also called Baal City, where the base is the bank for international settlements, where Permindex is, and Novartis, the pharmaceutical company, Permindex, you know, related to the murder on John F. Kennedy, and the Bank of International Settlements, connected to the money and the Federal Reserve, and also the murder on John F. Kennedy. The bubonic plague right after the Crusades, and our corona, while a large invasion by the Caliphate for a united Eurabia, by Pharaoh's aristocracy and their dukes, 
counts, royals, marquises, emirs, sultans, caliphs, and sheikhs. Please read these images and hear what is written here on top very seriously, very well, and everything was written here. I don't put it up for nothing. So people, as I told you, always look at the itinerary and what happened before and what happened afterwards. So just before the Corona Templar arm, the media were full of terrorist attacks and the various wars in the Middle East. And all of a sudden, it all just stopped. As if they turned the page for another chapter of their agenda. And mysteriously, no more terrorist attacks, no more wars in the Middle East, and just their Swiss Corona, Ordo Ab K.O. There is a definite connection between Corona and their program of United Eurabia or Pharaoh, made by the United Templar Order of Eurabia, uniting the slaves. And why the virus attack on China? Well, because China doesn't want any invasion by the Caliphate and locks them all up. Therefore, no terrorist attacks in China. Then why the corona attack so massively in Iran, as there are Muslims too? Well, because Iran, the Kurds and the Syrians are Shia Muslims who are despised by the Sunni Muslims and their Sunni Caliphate. And yes, the death of this man here, Soleimani, is also connected to the Corona. He wasn't supposed to be there. He could have been of help to the Iranian people. So he had to go. Yeah. He would have been against, as he's, he has been fighting against the Caliphate, against the Islamic State. You know? So this guy, Soleimani, a big enemy of the Caliphate. So he's part of the, um, of the chapter before. Now we have the Corona chapter. Just another chapter. And again, it's not the ordinary Muslim people which is the problem although they will be let loose on their hosts in the near future through the lies and deception of Fir'aun, Pharaoh. Then why so much corona in Italy? Well, because in Italy they voted a right-wing government in 2019, stopping the Muslim immigrants from coming into Italy and thus blocking the Freemason agenda by the Templars and their pals from the order of Salah Adin, with Italy even blocking big ships as the Aquarius from SOS Mediterranean and the Ocean Viking from entering an Italian harbour, loaded with millions of Sunni immigrants from the Caliphate. And again, I have no problems with Muslims or immigrants. I'm an immigrant myself. So the enemy within uses human rights organizations to buy entire ships to go and search the immigrants and bring them over. While me, Sean Ross, was refused an asylum in France at the French Ofbra in Paris for being not black enough. As he actually told me, as it was still during the apartheid era and no reason for a whitey to get an asylum in Europe. So I started to sleep in forests and in France and all over Europe. And in Switzerland, they only put me in prison all the time while I just wanted to work and be with my family. I'm done with Europe and the Europeans. They don't want me here anyway. So now my friend Roseanne Barr and some good Israelis have taken the initiative to save me and get me to the Holy Land and away from the terror. Damn, 
Never thought I'd become a Zionist myself. And I'm not even a jaywalker. But I have no problems with the jaywalkers. And I'm sure I'll meet a lot of nice people there. I'll get them on camp for you. And finally get the opportunity to visit saint jean d'Acre, or Acres of the Knights Templars. Rosanne uses the Israeli lawyer called Frankfurta for my Zionist adventure, whose father shot the Nazi SS Gauleiter Wilhelm Gusloff in 1936. Oh, and guess where that happened? Yes, in Davos, Switzerland. Hey, Swissy. The Swiss poster here was from just three years before. How Swissy was already busy making these posters and sort of cleaning up all the unwanted persons, just like Mr. Sean Ross, eh? giving a general idea at the time of the, the killing of the um, SS Gauleiter, what sort of attitude was hanging around, eh? and the, the general atmosphere leading to wrecking the SS Gauleiter. Just as today, almost 100 years later, they just can't get enough of it. Hey, Swissy. I have a feeling. I have a mission there in Jerusalem. Me, with entirely new and different ideas and solutions. Me, a non-believer, in the middle of all that religious hocus-pocus. Everything, what is happening now, is according to plan by the notorious octogon of the alps and a swiss corona it's all by pharaoh therefore sharia the sharia law from the ancient egyptian demotic sharia 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 for king son pregnant king sar Pregnant uh, son, re pregnant a. Ah. So, meaning Pharaoh, who's the king, is born out of the sun as by the sun god Amun Ra and his daughter Hathor, like the French sun king Louis XIV. The Sharia is nothing else than a feudal nightmare, or as in Pharaoh's time, a feudal nightmare, as we could see at the Islamic State and the Sharia, Sharia, uh, so well prepared by Pharaoh's propaganda in the mosques by Pharaoh's imams. And this will come, this here, what you will see here, using the tool of the Corona. This will be the next chapter. They will close down the Corona chapter, and this here will be the next chapter. Shar Ri A. Pharaoh's perfect rule over their slaves. Here you can see the seal of entrance into the order of Salahadin, Saladin, under the order of the temple. Yeah, here it says here. Yeah. Yeah. So, they are one and the same thing, the Knights Templars and their Arabic branch being the origins of the Islamo-Fascism against the still resisting jaywalkers and against us all. And look, the guy is a prince, they're all pharaohs, whoever fight each other, bringing havoc to humanity. It's a prince, the bloke is. So we all recognize the British coat of arms, eh, with the unicorn here and the lion. Eh? It's all one bunch. They, they're not from here. They're not from Europe. Here, and look, I read it for you. You should read the whole thing. The name of the order of the Hashashin, often called the Assassins, actually derives from the medieval Arabic word Hashia, meaning a royal order. I repeat a royal order of knighthood. It was the Hashashin who taught the Templars about the ancient Jedi priesthood of Egypt 
as part of Sufi heritage. Yeah. And here, the pharaonic Egyptian word for a priest who held the staff of power was formed by the hieroglyphs WSR. They only wrote down the consonants. You can see that here. Already told you that. Pronounce Wazir. The name of Osiris was pronounced Auzir. Well, he had many names, eh? And he was also called Wazir. The spine of Osiris was the jet pillar of spiritual strength, the primary symbol of the ancient Jedi priesthoods. Oh, the Jedi's, was it? Isn't that Star Wars or something? who were considered a knightly type of priests and priestesses. The later Celtic and old... Okay, I'll go on. So I look at the British coat of arms again, you know. This is the origins of it. An, an Arabian horse, the lion. It's, it's a foreign animal. You know, they're not from here. So I'll go on. The later Celtic and old English word wizard, derived from the ancient Egyptian... Pharaonic Wazir, which became the Arabic word Wazir for a knight of the royal order, Templars, eh? and the, the order of Saladin. I already told you that, you know, that all the wizards, they came from Pharaoh. We, we don't have wizards, we don't have kings, it's all from the Middle East, you know. All this evil, it's coming from Egypt, ancient Egypt. And... Um, the Druids, as I told you, was the uh, the queen, the princess Skoda, Skota, like now Scotland, Princess Skota, and she came to Ireland and to Scotland with a uh, with her Greek prince, and this is where the Druids. She, she took the wizards with her. This is where the the Druids come from. It's not Celtic. It's not European. All this stuff, Druids, and I've seen Druid Freemason Lodges. I filmed it. It was on my channel, Gure. Uh, YouTube took it off, of course. May I go on. Therefore, the parallel institution for Muslims in membership with the Order of the Temple of Solomon probably holds the chivalric name of the Knights of the Order of Saladin. Wuzara min Hashia Salahadin. Just as Knights of the Order of the Temple of Solomon, those are the Templars, are informally and unofficially called the Knights Templar, oh, there you go, the Knights and Dames, hey, the Sisters of Isis, of the Order of Saladin can be referred to by the informal short form Knights Dame of Saladin. Wasira min Salahaddin. Okay, folks. Why don't we get rid of these liars, eh? We're much stronger than they are. But we're not organized. That's the problem, eh? And they're all, like Kennedy said, they're all, you know, they, they, they act in the night. They attack us by lies and all this in, in the night, in the darkness. That's why there is the crescent moon, eh? And this is a falcon. You know, with the wings down, you know, when he's hanging up in the sky like, you know, looking for a little mice and you still want to be their mice eh well i don't let's team up and as i've just shown you about the knights templars and the uh, the knights of saladin being one and the same thing thus the sharia propaganda is just as the aristocracy made the germans believe in the germanic belief system with severe punishment to redress the asocials and non-pure Aryans leading the ways into the Nazi nightmare against all Germans, Aryan or not. Just as a caliphate is against all Muslims and only for Pharaoh's elite, like in Saudi Arabia and the Emirates, who basically did all the rapings by the Islamic State. So it's all the same thing. Nazis, the Sharia, um, Islamic State, it's one thing and it comes from Pharaoh. If you don't understand the history of things, you'll never get it. The Knights Templars are together with the Knights of Salahaddin. They're one and the same thing and they let us fight each other. Then the Islamic fasting, the Ramadan, the Ramadan. 
which is a pharaonic festivity to honor the sun god Amun Ra, as in Ra Madan, from Ra Me Tha On, with Me for pyramid and On for Osiris. An old pharaonic festivity in which they turn day and night around. Therefore, the crescent moon logo of Islam, as in this month and lunar cycle, they sleep a lot during the day and then party during the night when the moon is out. I mean, I'm not religious myself, but didn't God, Allah, or whatever, create the day to be awake and the night to sleep? instead of some pharaonic sun worship party and sleep during the day for a whole lunar cycle. I think fasting is good, but not the whole day. It's good to fast until like 2 o'clock, 1400 hours, until you're very hungry when the acids are powerful and not yet diluted with all sorts of slimy brews. Then, when you are finished, you let it digest for an hour or two, and at this point, you still haven't drunk anything. So then, at around four in the afternoon, you drink preferably tea until 1800 hours. Then, you start fasting again for the night and the evening until 1400 hours next day when you eat again. Call it the homie Ross COVID-19 lockdown equilibrium, if you like. And fasting means you don't drink at all, not even water. Not eating, but drinking tea or juices is called a diet and not fasting. Fasting is when you, nothing at all goes in. The fasting after 1800 hours during the evening and during the night is for the transit as there are two things concerning the digestive cycle, digest, digestion and the transit. No, no, not that transit, dummy. That's for farts, not good for digestion. And when you're just digesting in day and night in front of your tell lie vision, your transit will get blocked and you'll become a shitbag full of heaped undigested material making it harder to combat the corona with all that slimy stuff in your lungs and intestines. So better in these difficult times eat just once a day you shitbags and follow the homey Ross corona diet. And remember the devil is a snake like your intestines with a big mouth at the end. And for true spirituality, you must combat the snake. Well, let's say the corona has a spiritual touch to it. To corona or not to corona? That is the question. Especially now in the corona times, to eliminate the slime in your lungs, with the hunger games coming up, and to become a mean, lean combatant. It says the Hunger Games. Look at this here. This is the Phoenix. It represents the Templars rising out, rising up out of the ashes in Switzerland. And the circle is the compass, the concept of three. There must be somewhere the concept of four as well in it. And in these times, I urge you to see my video Soldier vs. Warrior and write it down. Here it is, the title, and here's my older channel, Gatsefrats. And I wrote here in the description, Mothers, raise your children as warriors, so the pharaohs can't snatch them and make soldiers out of them. Here in France, there is this French professor in infectional diseases called Didier Raoult who already cured many corona patients with a medical against paludism called hydroxychloroquine or short chloroquine being sold as a brand called Plaquenil. It seems though 
the government doesn't like that at all and continues their scam and lockdown, which they prolonged today here in France on Friday, March 27th, 2020, with another two weeks of quarantine confinement. Well, anyway, it's Switzerland of Octogon giving the orders anyway, as even the EU or European community is Swiss ruled. With the very first European Parliamentary, Parliamentary Union conference held in Gstaad, Switzerland on July the 4th and 5th in 1947, right after Se Second World War and initiated by the aristocratic war criminal and child murderer Lord Winston Churchill and his son-in-law Duncan Sandys. Winston Churchill, he murdered 28, together with his pal Lord Kitchener, he murdered 28,000 mostly children in South African in concentration camps by the British Empire in South Africa. And here you can see it. It was held in Stad, Switzerland in 1947, the European Parliamentary Union. Well, why is that being held in Switzerland? Or why not in Europe? Hey, eh? think about that. Hey, eh? because they rule it all. Also, the Russian Revolution and the murder of millions of Russians, especially army deserters and peasants. The Russian Revolution was planned in Switzerland on September the 5th, 1915 in Timmerwald, where the CIA and NSA have their Onyx Edward Snowden antennas and where they all met together. Lenin, his real name Vladimir Ulyanov, uh, Leo Trotsky was there, Grigory Sinoviev, Karl Radek, etc. You can read it. 100 years ago, Timmerwald, yeah, Timmerwald, Lenin in 1915. It's all octagon, people. Octagon, octagon, octagon. It's Templar stuff. Don't, don't have any other ideas in your mind. It's all Switzerland. Yeah, you can read this is the BBC. Links to Lenin, the past Swiss villagers tried to forget. The Timmerwald Conference held in Timmerwald in September 1915. Yeah, among them were Lenin and Trotsky. Um, the Timmer, Timmerwald Manifesto. You know, it's always the Swiss villagers, they tried to forget. You know, they always tried to forget it, eh? Never done anything. See? You see what I'm getting at? They never done anything. It's the Omerta. The laws of silence around the Templars base. Yeah, like, look, it's the Onyx in Timmerwald, the same place. So there's a connection. There must be something else that it attracts Lenin. It attracts here the Onyx, you know, many, many years later, a um, hundred years later. So there's a power. It's a power place for something. Eh? And what, what could that be? Well, Knights Templars, I tell you. And it belongs to the NSA. I've proven that to in one of my other videos. It belongs to the NSA and to the CIA. And even Edward Snowden said it, it's official. But it was in fact Swiss Octagon's infiltration of that previous rather jaywalker, real communist resistance against the aristocratic old world's order vertical rule feudality of which octagon profited to turn the thrive and communist movement into a bloody revolution to put octagon's horizontal rule new world order system in place so the jaywalkers only acted against the aristocracy and never against the European peoples. Lenin lived about 20 years in Octogon, Switzerland, in Geneva, Lausanne, Bern, and finally in the NSA's Timmerwald. And Lenin was Octogon and betrayed the jaywalkers like Leo Trotsky, 
who got brutally murdered by Octogon. So here you can see all the Jay Walker stars, like here, 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 there's seven, right? And it's not even 16.6%, but in fact, zero. So here it says 16.6% only. The amount of uh, Jay Walkers inside the, um, the Central Committee of the USSR in 1924. Um, because, so it's not 16.6, uh, but zero, because they all got murdered by Stalin, and Octagon used them and then killed them, just as they did with the German National Socialists. I will go from top left to down, so you can follow me. Leon Trotsky, here he is. Leon Trotsky got murdered in 1940 in Mexico while trying to escape Stalin and the Octagon of the Knights Templars. Interestingly, today's hitmen in Mexico are called the Sicario as a cynical parody on the Jay Walker freedom fighters against the Romans called the Sicari. By killing, killing this jaywalker freedom fighter, Leon Trotsky. So, no doubt, Octogon is behind all the killings going on in the region. As by their MS-13, for MS, standing for Mason, MS, and 13 for Friday the 13th, a day of agony for the satanic Octogon Templars and MS-13 are multinationals now, just as the Knights Templars. They're all over the region, all over the world. MS-13 and the Knights Templars and Octagon. So I go on with the list here of all the jaywalkers getting murdered by Stalin and Octagon. So next, Grigory Zinoviev. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. That's the next one. Grigory Zinoviev, murdered by Stalin and the Swiss Octagon in 1936. Next, Moise Karitonov, murdered by Stalin and the Swiss Octagon in 1938. Next, Lev Kamenev, murdered by Stalin and the Swiss Octagon in 1936. Lev Kamenev, he was also in Timmerwald. Hey. Next, Grigory Sokolnikov, murdered by Stalin and the Swiss Octagon in 1939. Next, Isaac Zelensky, murdered by Stalin and the Swiss Octagon in 1938. Next, Karl, Karl Radek, murdered by Stalin and the Swiss Octagon in 1939. Um, Karl Radek, so the last one here, he was also in Timmerwald, and I think they were all in Timmerwald, eh? And so Swissy got all the names of them and where they live, what they do, so, you know. So the, the National Socialists of Germany and the International Socialists, so there are the National Socialists, and the International Socialist. And the National Socialists were in Germany and the International Socialists in Russia. And they were all, all, originally, they were all resistance movements by the people against the elite feudality. Then they got invited by Octogon in Switzerland, as you can see Mr. Hitler here in 1923, and all around the same time, when the um, the communists were invited in Timmerwald. So they got invited in Switzerland where they got financed to win their trust, then infiltrated and then taken over by the Swiss Octogon of the Knights Templars. And finally silenced as in the Night of the Long Knives.
in 1934, where Octogon killed all the original National Socialists so they wouldn't speak out anymore about the infiltration and about Switzerland. And it all happened in the same era, exactly the same story, done by the same people and by using the people for the transition from the old world order vertical rule to the Templars new world order horizontal rule. It's exactly the same story. The killings have been done by the same people. They were all invited in Switzerland. They got financed by Switzerland. It got organized in Switzerland. It was a war against the European peoples who were trying to get rid of the aristocracy. And they were all silenced forever until Homie Ross came around. Stalin and Hitler were both Freemasons and good pals. And Freemasonry comes out of the Swiss octagon of the Knights Templars. These are the killers, people. And we don't have to fight each other like National Socialists and International Socialists and Chinese and Christians against Muslims and, you know, it's without an end, you know. These are the killers and this is why they got their hands hidden because, and it is the right hand, it needs to be the right hand because you pull the trigger or you keep a knife with your right hand hand that means they're hiding what they're gonna do until the last moment until it's too late like you know like well go and have a nice shower you know and then it's all closed and they gas you you know or like the night of the long knives or like what swizzy does you know without any warning you know being arrested and terrorized and by by a bunch of cops at like five o'clock in the morning you know they don't give a warning, eh? they hide it, they hide the hand with the gun, they hide the hand with the knife, they hide the hand pushing the button, they hide the hand losing the corona on us, they hide and they lie, this is the way they work, this is what John F. Kennedy said, they work in the dark and they attack us, you know, like by night. Hey, Swissy, and your Timmerwald, Lenin in Timmerwald, Onyx in Timmerwald, the NSA, the CIA in Timmerwald. Hey, Swissy, you, do you hear me, Swissy? Hey, Templars were the first multinationals in history. They have no nationality, really. And when I infiltrated the Octogon, I once heard them say, France is our father, Switzerland the mother, and America our perfect New World Order baby and fruit of our struggles. Here in January 2020, a 66 year old German cyclist crashed all by himself on a Swiss road, breaking a rib and was sentenced to two days in prison for not wanting to pay the fine by the Swiss police gangsters policing for profit. As Switzerland is a low tax haven to attract tax evasion billionaires. Low taxes, so not enough money for the Swiss police gangsters who therefore have to scrounge and scavenge their money together themselves through all sorts of extortions, scrowns and scavenge, as in SS, the motto of the Swiss Nazi police. As here on February 2nd, 2020, fining 200 motorists to huge fines for warning other drivers against radar controls in the internet. But hey, how do you prove that, eh? Just policing for profit, made in Swiss Switzerland, and forbidden to open up your mouth. 
and Swaziland, where many princesses and queens and empresses get murdered, like Swissy killed Sissy in my film here, where Octogon had the empress murdered to enable World War I. Or on August the 29th, 1935, Queen Astrid of Belgium accidented in Switzerland, just like Lady Diana. They called her the Lady Di of the 1930s, as you can see here. Because these three women were all pacifists and anti-militarists with very similar lives and all three were called the Queen of Hearts. Well, let's say a murdering military order like Octogon of the Knights Templars hardly appreciates a pacifist, anti-militarist queen, empress or princess, right? Therefore, on the Belgian hotel behind the King's Palace in the Oost End, it was written as a reference to the pacifist queen of Belgium on the hotel Astrid, the same queen that crashed in Switzerland. And it says, which you can see here, we will destroy the world like we crush a bird in our hands. And it's so very appropriate in the Corona days. Remember the 120 birds falling dead from the sky in Octogon, where the Queen of Hearts, Queen Astrid, got accidented. We will destroy the world like we crush a bird in our hands. To be seen in this video here on my channel, Central Intelligence Agency. Here's the title. You can also see here, and they will not even remember how we once held the world in our hands. So after the chaos, which is coming now, the corona chaos and everything, people will not even remember how the world was before because nobody has ever written anything down except the pharaohs, our aristocratic masters. And it goes on here and how we crossed it like a bird in our hands. It's coming now. And this also means that the, uh, the pacifist and anti-militarist queen was murdered. And even, you know, even if there are no proofs, if you look at the Swiss tradition and all the empresses and queens and princesses getting murdered there, uh, the chance, the, the probability chance is extremely high she got murdered. It's, it's about 99%. They did her in, folks. This article is from August 28, 2019. Americans asking if Geneva, Switzerland is the global center for CPS, child protective services and child trafficking. For legal reasons, of course, they had to hide their deposition in, a, in an inquisitive form. My answer is yes, my dear Health Impact News. Geneva, Switzerland is the global center of child trafficking which is related to the Geneva Clinic La Priori, or the Priory in English, who do embryonic cells for the elite's youth elixir, needing young children, which I explain in this video here. So here's the title of the video, punch it in. In the US, there are many pseudo-military academies for the elite, comparable with the British boarding schools, with more military style, where young pharaohs are taught to rule their slaves army style, like learning techniques, as getting loved by the sleeple, like a good father general watching over the sheeple. So Trump, class of 1964, spent five years in New York's private military academy for the elite and young pharaohs. A military academy without ever going to war and serve in the army, but rather safely 
send some drones from far away to eliminate the competition and enemies of the ruling elite and their Freemason gangsters like the Godfather sending his assassins out. Where young pharaohs even get medals to get used to the whole show they have to perform in later on. And I bet you the pharaonic sash over his right shoulder is either red or blue like his ties. Therefore, the private military academy of South Carolina, called the Citadel, have the pharaonic red and white checkerboard configuration in their courtyard. So young elite pharaohs feel well marching forth and back over the colors of pharaoh's original red and white house learning how to dominate the slaves through the lie and the battle of the minds. Therefore, no American president or no president of any other country or any other world leader will ever do something against pharaoh's red and white base of the devil in the Alps. Hey, Swizzy. Listen carefully, Swizzy. You have treated me as if I were a criminal and your corrupt Nazi cops and nepotist authorities have lied mean lies together to deliberately terrorize me and my family in order to silence me. So now it's my turn, Swizzy, and I haul your red and white checkerboard ass on social media, giving the world all the valid proofs that you, Swissy, are the criminals and not me. And we can all see the octagon here and money because the Knights Templars, that's money. You want to play with the house of Saint Croix Rose du Plessis? How dare you treat me like a normal slave? I will take you all down with me and I will show you the consequences of your dirty attack on a soft target family, Swissy. Bring on the light bearer, Octogon, and let's have the games commence.